The 3M Aura is one of my favorite N95s. It fits and filters on me really well, but it is plain and white and medical looking. I wish they came in black, but 3M says, nah, -uh. mm, we don't want it. What if you could cover it with a covering to give it any color you wanted? Well, you can get those from various vendors, but do they affect the filtration? Do they make the mask harder to breathe in? We're going to find out and we're going to test this Love the Look Studios on Etsy mask cover made specifically for 3M Auras. Let's take a closer look at the cover and a 3M Aura. That seems odd. The, this is a trifold and this is like a vertical bifold. Why, why is that? Why, why would they do a vertical bifold? Um, well, as it turns out, a 3M uh, Aura, a trifold, when you actually fold it in half, this is the profile you get. And if you take a look at this, you'll see that this cover is cut to fit a 3M Aura in spite of being a bifold design. By doing that, they don't have to use three pieces of fabric like this mask does, uh, less sewing altogether. They just have a dart here and a dart here on the bottom. It makes it simpler. One innovative piece of design here is that you don't need separate head straps. It just clips on to the mask. Uh, we'll do that a little bit later. Some other notable parts of the construction. If we take a look here, there is a square open section in the middle. That is the fabric. You might be able to see through it a little bit. Um, and then around that perimeter is what looks to be a fusible interfacing to stiffen the fabric. Um, and they've left the center open so you can breathe through it. I did check this. You can sort of breathe through this a little bit. And then there are no hems. Uh, these are just raw edges. And I guess they have planned on this uh, fusible interface to keep the uh, edges from fraying. So it's a very simple design. These little clips are clever and are going to make it much lighter and uh, less cumbersome to use. But these are expensive for what they are. I mean, this was this little teeny thing here, $19. Um, but it came with some really nice presentation. Um, and it came with a little charm as well. And uh, even a little mask liner. Now, all of those are designed to help make up for the fact that this little piece of cloth was $19. But let's see how it performs because these come in 70 different prints um, from a specific line of fabric. So you've got a lot of options. Now, this is not the only company out there that makes similar covers, but these are kind of nice because of these clips. So I wanted to test them and see how well they work. First up, we are going to test a 3M Aura without this. And we'll test the um, way it filters on me. And we'll also test uh, the pressure drop inside the mask to see what breathability looks like. And then we'll do it with both of these together. All right, we're going to do a fit test of the 3M Aura without the fabric cover to see how well it does on its own. Well, the 3M fits me pretty well normally, but this time the talking test, which is a challenge for a lot of respirators, got below the required fit factor but overall, I passed with a fit factor of 142. That's 142 times cleaner inside the mask than outside. Um, not my best score ever, but a reminder that if you're talking in a mask, that can affect the fit. Now, let's compare it with the cover on. Okay, I've got the cover on. I've purged the mask. I'm ready for a fit test. But there are a few observations I want to point out now before I test. Uh, one, it seems fairly breathable, not too bad, but because the cover is outside the mask, I feel like it's redirecting some of the exhaled air uh, in that gap underneath out the gap into my eyes. I can feel a little bit of airflow this way, um, which I don't love. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. And also, because there's no nose wire in this thin fabric, it doesn't conform to my nose like this. Here, I've got great sight lines, nothing's in my eyes, um, but when I exhale, <sighs> puffs this up a little bit. And sometimes these um, get a little higher and get in my sight line a little bit. Um, not a huge deal, but just one of the aspects of not having a nose wire. 
So uh, let's go ahead and do the fit test. Uh, 136, really close to the last score I got. Um, a little bit lower, but maybe not statistically significantly lower. The Aura was able to pass a fit test on me, even with the cover. And, um, I, you know, I'm pretty happy about that. But I want to know if there is a consequence to wearing this. Is it less breathable? I mean, it felt okay, not too bad. But I want to see if I can quantify that. And that's a little hard to do because breathability in masks is measured at a constant airflow. It's how much pressure drop there is with the airflow at 85 liters per minute. Now, I can't breathe in at 85 liters per minute, so I can't do that kind of calibrated testing, but I can measure the difference between two different setups, like with cover and without cover. Um, first, let's just take a look at what the pressure looks like inside the mask with this pressure meter. It'll show us both the inhalation and exhalation pressure. And you'll note that it's gonna be different depending on how deeply I'm breathing, how quickly the airflow is moving. It's a little hard to get exact measurements because I might breathe differently in the different tests. For instance, it's easy to accidentally fake results by breathing differently and it's unconscious. What I'm gonna use is a method devised by Aaron Collins that tries to make it a little bit more rigorous and objective. And uh, I'm gonna switch meters for that. I've got a more sensitive meter attached so that I can do this a bit more accurately. I'm going to do Aaron Collins' time to breathe method. And he uses a full lung volume as a constant, and he breathes in at a constant 0.25 inches of water. That's just a unit of pressure. And then the variable is going to be how long it takes at that constant pressure drop. And the longer it takes, the harder it is to breathe through the mask. Now, this is not an absolute measurement because um, my lung volume is not the same as Aaron's, so I can't compare readings directly, but I can compare my own readings between different masks, and that's what we're gonna do. I have a stopwatch here, so we'll do it. go ahead and get that going here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this mask four times and we'll average them. Now it's time to test the 3M Aura all on its own and see if it is more breathable. Overall, this mask cover did very well. Um, it's pretty breathable, it passed the fit test, and that's in spite of the fact that I did get great scores initially even without the cover on, so there wasn't much room for error, and yet this didn't really interfere. I got very similar scores. Breathability. Now, the breathability score, it took 12% uh, longer to breathe wearing this cover during that test, but the spread in each mask condition was pretty wide. So the error bars on those numbers, uh, that's not necessarily a statistically significant number, that 12%. So overall, very uh, good performance out of this. And they have a lot of different fabrics. Uh, I've got this one here, which I am going to try a nice, elegant print. They've got Boulder prints as well. If you're gonna make your own mask covers, um, you can use an open weave fabric so you don't have to worry about the breathability. Uh, like laces, they can be pretty decorative. There's another um, Etsy seller who does a lot of lace, so you can trust those to be pretty breathable without having to test. But if you do make your own covers, it would be great if you could do your own mask fit test. Uh, one way to do that is the Fit Tests for All Mask Fit Testing Kit, a home testing kit. It's not always in stock, but when it is, that's a good option. I'll put a link in the description so you can look that up.